Good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. This is my blog. You know very well. So uh, let's start to design a banking application project in C sharp, or you can say in Windows form GUI. Okay. So I give the name to the project is banking application, Windows form application. Yeah. The project cannot be created because it's already exist. So uh, underscore that is tutorial. Okay. Wait for some times. Uh, Microsoft Visual Studio create a new project, and it takes some time to load all the binary file and as well as the resource file. You can say. So wait for some time. Now uh, let's discuss about banking application project. Actually, banking application project is used where you want to do some transactions uh, like credit your amount and debit your amount, etc. So uh, this is the default form. You can see. And the name of the form is default form one dot cs. In a solution explorer, in a form one dot cs file, first of all delete and add a new file and the key that is Windows form. Select the Windows form file and select. Sorry, uh, replace the name is login.cs, or you can write anything you want. Okay, so the form name is also changed according to the name of the file. The text is login form. And auto size mode is grow and sync. Also lock that screen and design the login form. That is label. Change the text of the label. Before change, copy that label and paste it on the and change the u label text password it's pretty simple in windows form application now come to the text box field and button field also change the text of the button is login in windows form and any other programming language must to change the identity of the control. So here in Windows form GUI, we have a identity of the control a, is referred to the name property. Okay. So first to change the size of the admin login. Change the font size is 8.25 is replaced with 11. Also, bold it. Now add two text box control. Resize both according user requirement okay now change the name property that is identity of the text box is the default is text box 1 change according to the text box uh, or you can say change according to the label in front of text box so change password also 
change the property of the password text box is pass text you can take okay yeah that's it now create a new database file in SQL server so first of all I'll install any Microsoft SQL server uh, I have Microsoft SQL server 2014 management studio here we will create a database and create a table for login so my server name is Jacob and authentication type is Windows form you know very well about the Windows form authentication that is provide the security by the Windows to the form application now right click on the database and add a database actually the definition of the database is collection of objects and object consists of table stored procedures triggers views indexes etc so give the name to the database is banking underscore db that is user defined name you can change according you now in the banking db section right click on the table and create a new table okay now set the column that is default column actually here ID username and the password in that table we have a ID column for unique identification and that column we will used further for entity framework as a unique identity column now save that table change the name of the table is admin table okay now create a table successfully after creating your table you can add item by using edit top 200 rows put some data into the table admin admin the username is admin and password is also admin now come to the model part that is edu.net entity data model to load that table so right click on your project name and add edu.net entity data model and process that or you can say follow that steps change the connection or you can say the database by using new connection wizard Microsoft SQL server select server name is Jacob you know very well uh, in SQL server management studio and the database name is banking underscore DB yeah change it successfully next next and select that table from the given wizard okay now click to finish button okay it's pretty simple to load the model or you can say that is design first approach of the EF model now it will take to load properly take some time sorry it will take some times to load properly
सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मेक ए प्राइमरी की कॉलम टू द टेबल ऑल्सो यू कैन सेट द आइडेंटिटी अपडेट मॉडल फ्रॉम डाटा बेस इफ यू चेंज एनी थिंग इन द टेबल ओके again if you do not satisfy with your model right click on update model from database and click oops this is not there so first of all delete if anything does not happening and again add a new data model if select your entity if given and that table is there editor admin table yeah is there id is a primary key column name so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please subscribe my channel if you like it because i give you further videos